Well, hello, and welcome back to Idol Kingdom Defense. So today's 17275, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell. That said, we're taking him B-team, that's why we're missing a warrior. Um, it's just this is my low crowd control team. And we're headed into King's Ruin. Now, I did start this already, so we'll be starting at Ruins 9. I was split between starting on 8 or 9, and I ended up just starting 8, and I was like, well, we'll start at 9, we'll see how it is. Again, I'm aiming for this video to be about 8 minutes long, that's why I'm just front-loading it and doing front-loading. That's not front-loading. That's why I'm just going through and I'm killing off the first half of the video. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, really, not too bad so far. And there goes the first thing. Of course, the longer stages are towards the end, but r the reality is the only stages that are going to be long are 10, 11, uh, 13, 14, 15, and, or 12 and 15 are just AoE stages. A stage like this is where we're really going to see Marion do a lot of damage. And because of that, I wasn't sure, you know, I probably should stop it after clearing 6. But I wasn't really sure. Yesterday's episode was a bit short. It was about six minutes. I'm trying to get them to about eight minutes of length. I think that's a good length for these kind of episodes. Just so you can kind of actually see my team working in real time. And obviously, I'm, my team is so powerful. I don't need to worry about micromanaging them on these stages. That's kind of a, a good metric, in my opinion. When they can just do it themselves. All right, there we go. On to Ruins 11. Now, if you wanted to, you can also do this. Let me grab Marion here. Let's see. Let's stick it right there. I'm not too worried about that right now. As you see, okay, here comes the, the soldier. Not bad. Not bad. Cleaning things up. Yep, there they go. Now they're going to fall like dominoes. Yeah, you can really see the, the reason I, I've been choosing Marion is just the way her attack works. She just hits so many things, especially when things get stacked up against your castle or whatever. She'll just cleave everything off. Oh, you know what? Actually, what I wanted to do was look at this. Yeah, 69%. It's like no contest on stages like that where stuff lasts a long time. It's just the longer things last, the more likely they are to be hit by Marion's attack just with the way it's shaped. Dog stages are great too because a lot of the dogs will run up and the Marion will just cleave the front of the castle. And all the monsters in the front will just, yep. Well, she didn't get the front there. Come on, Marion. Show, show, yeah, there. See, they cleaved the whole front of the castle off almost. She, she misses the bottom left hand corner. I wish her attack was just a little, had another one down here. And the thing is, whatever she doesn't get, Christian will mop up. Because he does enough of damage on these stages to just be like the cleanup crew. Now again, pretty the the cannon stages are even better because the cannons naturally stop and line up together at the back there, so you can just see Marion just hitting almost all the cannons with the way they line up. It's a beautiful attack that she has, just the way it works, and that's why I chose her to to make a set of artifacts. Now, if she does hit anywhere else, it, it'll just cleave out the middle or whatever. I'm not sure. The only thing is with Marion, I can never tell what she's hitting compared to Christian. Like, obviously, Christian's attacking right there. Very obvious indication of where he's attacking. Compare that to Marion, it's like, who knows? And then on 14, we'll use our buffs. Double damage, that's going to be really good. 
<clears throat> now, this is where you see really interesting things where other heroes can actually contribute more. Uh, just because the extra damage means they usually don't get stuck on one target out in the middle of nowhere and they kind of they kind of can actually do enough damage to finish something off. It's very interesting. And yeah, we're just cutting right through everything. Again, you can see Marion, the same thing with these catapults. She just goes right through them. And even the rams, if they end up on the front of the castle, she'll just cleave them down. And that's stage 14. And again, Marion just dominating. And for the final stage. And you have to remember that Marion isn't even max level yet. She's not even max level, so when she's max level, she'll just have that much higher of a base attack. It'll make every level of the ring more powerful. She is getting close, though. She's almost, uh, she's eight, over 18,500. Um, like I said, she'll probably be max level in about a month, give or take. So something very much to look forward to there. And then, of course, once she's max level, I don't know if I'm going to level Vincent or not. I'll probably get him up to 10k or something like that. Maybe get him ahead of uh, Sophia. And then it's a question of, do I level Vincent or Sophia? All right, so let's look at our end summary here. Marion, 61%. Now, now these AoE stages like this are very skewed towards Christian. So Marion, 61%. Christian, 36%. Vincent, the king of 1%. Roderick, the king of 0%. And so just so you know, the stats of Marion... For this are the 900 uh, orb and ring, 39 million attack, 126,000 crit damage, almost 40 million attack. So that said, once again, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.